we almost had the long-awaited arrival of the lizard in live action with the snout unfortunately once again it did not make it in but we got the artwork and what he would have looked like had they gone in the direction and it's absolutely beautiful so once again let's get this out of the way just because i like what this looks like more it doesn't mean i hate the version we got as a matter of fact i really like the version we got in the amazing spider-man and spider-man no way home and i think he looks great without the snout but to me the lizard has a snout and that's how i like it and while it made sense that they kept this specific design this design to me is far superior so once again what we're looking at here is a more comic accurate i would say spot on approach to the lizard if you look at the pants there they are they're ripping the color obviously the uh you know scientist the jacket that's uh while well, being ripped apart as he grows and kind of doesn't conform to his body smoothly because it wouldn't since he's now a humanoid lizard and not just a human it looks sort of uh you know pulled apart and it's ripping at the seams obviously the color of him is much different than what we got in the amazing spider-man on no way home very much more reptilian does that make sense as opposed to the old one but again this is concept art and then the other one was actually live action so chances are it kind of would look similar either way though the snout here really sticks out to me as i think this kind of looks perfect this is what i always wanted and hoped we could get in live action and i get why sony didn't put it in because they never wanted to go too far into the comic book direction because they were trying to keep it real so we got what we got here though i get it i get why they didn't do this same thing with uh you know doc Ock. it wouldn't have made sense to evolve the design to be past what we saw previously especially with the story that they're telling so ultimately this did not make it in i'm still inclined to believe like doc Ock, this was designed when they thought they couldn't get the specific actors back and that they were just going to multiverse random spider-man villains from other parts of the universe so this was probably a placeholder till the actor signed on once he signed on they knew the design that they were gonna get they just pulled it off from those old you know hard drives with the cg they didn't need to change much here though they were going in a new direction to definitely differentiate them and i love this so if we ever get the proper lizard in the mcu this is the design i hope they go for